Hey YouTube, it's Mike from Miles of Reptile Removal, doing a reptile room update, collection update, and I might even, might even get to see the rat room. That's also a new thing. So I'm going to start over here. Um, actually, I'll start right down here. We have the incubator. I have about 19 corn snake eggs in there. I'll show you the mother and the father corn snakes when we're going through the reptile room update. But I have about 19 corn snakes in the incubator right now. Over here, I have my yellow belly female. She's about 1,200 grams. She is really, really pretty. Really nice snake. Flip her over, see that yellow belly? She is really pretty though. Really nice snake. Alright. Then my largest male ball python. He's about 1,000 to 1,100 grams as well. He's an Enchi. I will probably, one of the first breedings I do will probably be the yellow belly and the Enchi. And again, take a look at him. He has a real nice clean belly as well. Not as nice as the yellow belly, but here's my nice big Enchi. Take it, buddy. Next big ball python. He's a normal. Um, I'm told 100% het pied. I plan eventually on breeding him out with uh, some other possible het pieds I have, um, or maybe a pied that I have in the future, and we'll see if he really is 100% het. Right now, though, he's being very difficult in that he will not eat. He is one of my only snakes who has not eaten at all yet uh, since I got him, but he still is about six or seven hundred grams. Again, suggestions on feeding, that'd be great. I've tried frozen thawed mice, frozen thawed rats. I've tried live mice, live rats, um, weaned rats, hopper rats, small rats. I've tried almost everything with them. Uh, put them in a smaller feeding container, tried feeding them in here. Haven't been able to get him to eat yet, though. Um, but that's the normal 100% head pied. Down here, I have my male king snake. We call him Zeus. He is a beast when it comes to eating. He's getting bigger and bigger every time. Compared to those ball pythons, he doesn't look very big. But that's him. He ate two mice just the other day. A big bulge in him. Real nice snake, though. He's eating like crazy. He is, just to get a weight on him, he is, last time I weighed him was about 200 grams. So, I mean, compared to the ball pythons, he's not very big, but... Compared to the other corn snakes and um, king snakes, he's pretty big. In here, I have my largest male corn snake. He is just your normal Okatee male. He's one of my main snakes I use for shows, uh, with my educational reptile shows. Not really, don't really use him too much for breeding. He's one of my. He's a 12-year-old corn. I've had him since he was a baby. And when he was uh, younger, I used him for when I first started breeding corns, but I haven't used him at all in the last few years. This big snow corn has been one of my male breeders. He's the father of the clutch and the incubator. He can be a little ornery, but he's also a real nice big male snow. You can see, not always in the best mood. Stop. This female here, oh, that snow corn is also about 12 years old, one of my first snakes. This female is also about 12, one of my first snakes. Unfortunately, she laid all slugs this year. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, so I didn't get a clutch from her. She's an Amelianistic female corn. She's putting weight back on pretty well, though. Her appetite's back since laying the clut this clutch of slugs. And then this is a normal Het Amelianistic um, and Het Antheristic. Uh, I have snow corn babies that hatched from her from... Uh, last year and she right now is, she laid the 19 egg clutch she's in the process of putting weight back on she finally has her appetite back and got a couple mice in her just uh, yesterday on feeding day she's about I think eight or nine years old and just to give you an idea on size of the corns the big male corns are about 800 grams real close in weight to the 100% head pied um, ball python the females are in the 600 gram uh, range. 
Over here, this is a new addition. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is my hatchling rack. And basically, I'll keep my ball pythons in here until they're around 500 grams before I move them to bigger, uh, bigger tubs. And then I have all my uh, young yearling and two-year-old corn snakes over here. And then I have a, a brand new king snake, which is fairly new. I got it at the Harvard of Grace Reptile Show. But uh, we'll start here. This is a snake that I bred two years ago. One of my nicest ones that I bred. I think it's a sun-kissed emelianistic. But I was real proud of that one. Um, this is a snake I bought just this year. He's a... Oh, where's he at? He's a um, Hypo Motley. Got him on an auction from Ben Siegel. But he's a real cool snake. Can you see him in there? He did his eight yesterday, so I don't want to bother too much. But see the dot, the dotted pattern is the Motley. But I have some cool breeding plants for him with a couple, with one of my um, yearling snow corns. This here is one of my favorite um, young corns. She's in blue right now, so she's a little dull looking. But uh, she should be breeding size by next year. Striped, aneuristic, female. Um, and I'm thinking of breeding her with maybe this male, the sun-kissed hypo, or sorry, the sun-kissed emelianistic. See if I can't get maybe some sun-kissed stripes or snow stripes um, staying with the corn snakes this is the sister of this male just another emelianistic she had that zigzag pattern on her back like right there that I liked so I kept her Let's see what she does in here these are my two snow corns that I hatched out uh, just this past August these are the only two holdbacks I had this one is just like the father, a normal snow. Uh, where's she at? Oh, there she is. So this one here is just a normal snow. Her sister, though, is the real nice one. I call it a high pink snow. It may even have a little bit of that motley. And her sister is the one that I want to breed the hypo motley male to. Um... See if I can get some Hypo Motley Snows from that. But there it is, the sister. And I don't know if you can tell or not. Hopefully you can see it. But she has a much more pink. She almost has. Let me see if I can't pull her out. If you look here, she has like the pink Motley circles going down her back. She is probably my behind the sun kissed Emil. This is the next cool snake that I've hatched out. Um, but I call her a high pink snow. Possible motley maybe. Alright, that's the end of the corn snakes. I'll show you the yearling um, ball pythons next. We'll start here. This girl here is probably the meanest one I have. I picked her up at the show. Really nice though. Two gene snake. She is a, um, a Lemon Blast, which is a pastel pinstripe, and she's a really pretty snake, and I can't wait to breed her in the future, but unfortunately, she's a picky eater, doesn't eat well, and she's mean as you can believe, always trying to bite me. A very pretty snake. Um, this here is just a normal, normal female also, sorry, the Lemon Blast is a female, that's just a normal female. She's a little mean too, not the best eater. This here, great female eater, my Mojave. You can see how fat she is. She eats almost every time I offer her. Real pretty snake though, I like her. I have plans with her and my pastel lesser male that I'll show you in a little bit. This is my spider female. She's starting to get a little better with eating, but she wasn't the best before, and um, so she's a little small. But you can see her high white sides. See, she let me pull her out for a sec. Ooh, don't spill the water. She's she can be nippy. She has her good and her bad days. She has real uh, high white sides. And if you, I mean, the camera can't pick it up, but there's like orange dots in this high white. Fortunately, she has a little bit of the head wobble. But she's a very cool snake. I can't wait till she gets bigger. And she actually, oh, I'm sorry. She's a um, possible het pied. 
and the Mojave is a uh, Het Hypo. So the Mojave is Het Hypo and the Spider is possible Het Pied. So I hope in a year or so to breed the 100% Het Pied with the Spider, possible Het Pied, and uh, see if I can't prove them both out and get some Pied Spiders maybe. Um, I don't have anything Hypo other than the Mojave, but maybe in the future I'll add something in. Here is my, he's going to be a real good male for me. He's a lesser pastel, all right, so or pastel lesser. Real nice yellow colors. He's an, oh, my only other two gene snake, and I plan on breeding him with the Mojave, him with the Lemon Blast, um, probably him with the Yellow Belly when he gets older. I'll probably do the first, I'll do the Enchi with the Yellow Belly the first time. But uh, I'll probably do him with a bunch of these other snakes, just being a two gene. Him with the spider. But again, uh, he's a great eater though too. And he and the cinnamon male will both probably be breeding size in the next couple months. But most of my females have at least a year. This is my cinnamon male. And if you can't see him, let me see. Oop, don't spill your water, don't spill your water. He's a great eater also. Um, real pretty snake. He's another one I got from Ben Siegel. I actually got the Mojave, the um, Hypo Motley Corn, and this cinnamon all from Ben Siegel. I got, uh, oops, shoot. I got um, on the auctions, which I do like. Sometimes the prices get a little high because it's an auction, but you can also get some really cool snakes doing that. And this is my male cinnamon, and he's a great eater, like I was saying. All right. Later. This snake here was a recent adoption. She's a big, uh, most likely normal female, and the person that um, gave her to me said they got her at the Manassas, or thought that they they got her at the Manassas Reptile Show, and they thought they got her from Outback Reptiles, but that's all I did know. Um, basically, the son stopped taking care of the snake, and she had a, she was a, had a real bad shed when I picked her up. I've cleaned her up a little. She still has a little more shed to get cleaned up, but she's been eating great for me. She's uh, around that 400, um, a little over 400 gram mark. So she's a little bit bigger than all the other yearlings. I think she's actually a year older though. I think she's a 2011. And just to give you an idea of what feeding and care and size can do for an animal, the Enchi, the 100% Het Pie, the Yellow Belly are all 2011s. This snake's a 2011 and a lot smaller than those snakes. So it gives you a little idea of... of uh, how feeding and the right care can really make an animal get big. This here is one of my brand new snakes. The last two I'm going to show you. Um, both got at the last Harvard to Grace show, April 13th. This is a fire. She is a beautiful snake. Um, just ate a rat hopper yesterday, so she's fat as can be. But man, I hope the camera picks up on her. The blushing on this snake is just fantastic, and she's just so beautiful. And uh, I know she looks a lot like a normal, but if you had her next to a normal um, or next to any of these other snakes, you could just see how beautiful the snake is. She's really, really pretty. And I, and I can't wait for her to get to size so I can start putting snakes like the Pastel Lesser to her, um, the Cinnamon to her, maybe even the Enchi, get some Enchi fires, that'd be cool. We do got a little bit of time on her. Alright, go on, Mama. And then my last snake that I'm going to show you is my brand new king. I got her to go with that uh, the original king I showed you, Zeus. She is a tiny, tiny little baby. Um, where is she at? She's only like 15 grams or 17 grams or something. But she is an eastern Chesapeake king just like Zeus, the big one I showed you in the beginning. Um, and she will eventually be Zeus's girlfriend right now. She would be Zeus's dinner. So we got a ways to go with her, but she's a very cool snake, um, and I'm looking forward to her future with us. So, those are all of the snakes. All right, and again, we got the racks. Sorry, the snakes, the racks. I have my bearded dragon. I don't breed beardies. He's uh, another one of my stars of my reptile shows. Um, he's great with the kids. When I do these educational reptile shows, um, so you get a nice shot of him. He's a little early in the morning for him, so he has his beard all up, but he's a great, great. Um, so again, the snakes, the beardy, 
Oh, I need to do my advertising for a snake.